So your internship might have been canceled to COVID-19. Well, I got you covered. Just stick around. Welcome back to my channel, Road to PhD. My name is Kimberly. I major in nutrition and minor in chemistry. I plan on getting my PhD, so come on this journey with me. I am so excited to have you all here today because today we're going to be talking about how to get you paid opportunities during the summer and or some educational opportunities that are unpaid, but you can still put on your resume and get the training that you could have gotten if it wasn't for COVID-19. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button so other viewers just like you can find this video. And since you're here, you might as well like it as well. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday starting today, so just stick around. The video is going to be segued into two parts. The first part is Parker Dewey micro internships and the second part is unpaid research opportunities or science-esque opportunities. So Parker Dewey offers the largest network of college students and graduate professionals who are ready to get paid to do work short term. Parker Dewey is all about short term micro internships. This is what they're known for. The best thing about Parker Dewey is that you can sign up with your LinkedIn account. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, I recommend that you do make one because it does require that you sign in with either a LinkedIn account or you can make an account on Parker Dewey's website. So Parker Dewey lists the job description and the company description as well as the type of student they're looking for. They are very specific, so I do recommend that you read the description. For example, something can say, I only want a student from Arizona State University who's major in marketing. If you are not said students, you cannot apply for that position and or you're most likely not going to get it. So I'd say really stick to the description of the job and the person that they're looking for. The best part about these Parker Dewey micro internships is that they're all remote. They were remote before um, COVID-19 and now they're still remote and if you're um, worried about going outside, meeting new people, spreading germs. Staying inside is the way to go and with Parker Dewey you can stay remote and you can make over $450 in just 13 days. If you need help with any of your CVs, resumes, trying to apply for internships, I do have an internship series that I made. It's called the Summer Internship Series. Please check out the video. I will link the CV one here. If you need any tips, make sure you check out that playlist. It will be linked in the description as well. The cons about Parker Dewey is that you don't get to search for a specific job. Whatever is available is whatever they have. And when I looked, it didn't look like much, about 20. So I'd say it's, a bitty, it's gonna be pretty competitive considering that I am telling you about this information. But what is for you is for you and no one else. So I really recommend that you do take advantage of these opportunities. Again, as I mentioned, Parker Dewey is short term but they pay a lot during those short term days so most internships on parker dewey sites or micro internships are no more than 15 20 days long but you do get paid full time all of those days and who's to say you can't apply for multiple and get them all and do them well now we're moving on into research opportunities and i just want to say that these are unpaid first and foremost the easiest thing you can do is ask a principal investigator that you've either worked with during the semester and or a past summer and or was supposed to work with this summer if they're interested in you doing a literature search and starting a literature review for the project this is usually the beginning of most um, research internships because they need that information. Why is this significant? Has this research ever been done before? No, it hasn't. Here's the support from all of the literature to write grants, to continue the grants, and or start the paper. The published scientific paper, the introduction is usually 
made up mostly the literature review that was conducted months or even years ago. So if you can contribute to this, you'll no doubt be listed as maybe a third or fourth author on the published paper. You have more background knowledge and you'll be able to stand toe to toe with anyone who has information or is interested in this specific research area. So I really recommend that you do email your PI, set up a schedule for yourself, try not to work more than like 20 hours a week. So for you guys, I went the extra mile. I have a lot of opportunities so um, coming up, so please stick around and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. If you see me looking here, I'm looking at my computer. But also, when it comes to other research opportunities, I actually looked on indeed.com. A lot of them are listed, but they're like the application dates have passed i don't know why they're still on there and also they're um unpaid just wanted to let you guys know but please do your own research you never know what you can find the keg graduate institute also known as kgi has summer opportunities for recent high school graduates undergraduate students who are current and current grad students and graduated college students as well. I don't know if that was a long sentence, but I'm gonna make it work, you feel me? And as I mentioned before, everything will be linked in the description box, so please, please, please take your time and check it out after you finish this video. I know I've been talking a lot about this is on paid, this is on paid, this is paid, this is paid, but remember, graduate schools, when you are interviewing for your PhD, your MD, your MD, PhD, or any other master's or graduate program, they will never ask you, oh, was this opportunity paid? No, they'll ask you, what did you learn from this experience? What did you gain from this experience? They'll also ask how it shaped your goals. And then you can write essays, anecdotes, whatever about said experience, but it's rare that they'll ask you, so you didn't make 5K? Like those are just questions that I've never heard of Essays have never prompted me to get, I mean, to write about, and like, it's just unnecessary to put that um, anywhere on your application. They care more about the opportunity. So if you say you did the Keck Graduate Institute, then you did the Craig Graduate Institute, period. They have a pre three day occupational therapy program at the KGI and it provides you or, or students who are into occupational therapy to actively engage with professionals who are in this field so you could build your network now you can make connections now and also um, be interested and see what it offers virtually through engaging activities and interactive learning they also have an online Summer Explore Health Professions um, 2020 at the KGI. It's a two-week virtual program. It consists of both personal, personalized coaching, advising, um, and then immersion as well, with also various guest speakers from different graduate health programs to best help students understand the many opportunities that the healthcare field provides. So again, this is an amazing opportunity and most of these opportunities that I'm mention, mentioning are 100% free. Again, I just wanna plug myself here. If you want help with how to create a competitive resume, um, CV, personal statement, check out my videos that I linked here. The thing about the KGI is that they have very impending deadlines. I'm talking about like June 15th. So if you're watching this today when it uploads, make sure that you click the links in the description box, fill out the information that's necessary, get registered, get the experience, put it on your resume, learn as much as you can, like just try to make the most out of the summer if you want to, if you need a well needed rest, go ahead and take it. So I'm gonna only mention two more things about KGI. They have an online pre-pharmacy student workshop coming up and they also have a careers beyond the bench with biotech industry like exposing you to that if you want to do research in biotech or just work in biotech it's three weeks long it's online and you can apply as soon as like today so go ahead and check that out too now we're moving on into my um people who are truly about all about research 100 like they down this hill is research for life bro or research is life 
I don't know. But let's move on to the 2020 NIH Intramural Summer Internship Program. So the NIH Intramural um, Summer Internship Program was initially going to be in person, but obviously due to COVID-19, it moved online. What does that mean? The opportunity is there for you to take. Just go ahead and grab all the opportunities that you can, okay? It is to help you sharpen your science skills and your hard skills as well. So the NIH, the overarching umbrella of the NIH has partners with the institutes and um, centers, the ICs, as well as all of their training institutes to bring you this virtual summer program. So please take advantage of it. They bring you exciting news based on science, what you can do with your career, how you can prepare for graduate school. If you're a high school student, they also have things for you. Again, check this out. It's an amazing free opportunity. And the National Institutes of Health is one of the most recognized names in the research world because most of the grants that you will end up applying for come from the NIH. And I know I mentioned that this is for students who really want to do research. I just think the benefit will be like the most, it will be most beneficial for those students, but the NIH has series for students of all across all levels. Current high school students, you have to be over the age of 17. College students, college grads, grad students, and then anyone who wants to go into healthcare, they have veterinary, medical, dental, and pharmacy programs. So again, this is a great opportunity. It's free, go check it out. They also have a scientific skill series where they have like different panels, people to come talk to you virtually, how to read a paper, lit review, all that stuff. Please check it out, link in the description. I encourage all of you to look um, and finally comb through the links that I have provided. When you open the page, there'll be more links on that page as well. And so that you can see which opportunities are best to develop you as a STEM person, as a competitive applicant for grad school, and making the most out of the summer. Again, as I mentioned, there is no fee, but advanced registration is required. So the link is in the bio. Check that out and make sure to subscribe. If you made it all the way to this vid through to this video, thank you so much for watching. If you stick around and subscribe for next week, where I'll be telling you about some resources that I found really helpful from Yale for the PhD process and applying and also the MD PhD process. So make sure you definitely stick around for that. Please follow me on Instagram at KimStakeOnHealth. I am so excited to just connect with you there. And lastly, Follow my mentee's podcast, In Vivo, where she covers science, pop culture, and uh, STEM. And so make sure you definitely um, follow that. It's In Vivo podcast. It's linked in the description. And here's also uh, a graphic. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey, PhD roadies. And I'll see you on the road. Bye.